Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Off Grid Enclave channel. It's been a while since the first plastic to fuel pyrolysis video. Meanwhile, stuff happened, so today we'll be having a look at our first test reactor. As construction material, stainless steel was chosen. The reactor vessel itself is about 20 liters in size. Overall, the construction was kept quite simple. It consists out of three main parts. The reactor vessel, the cooling stage, and the seal in between. As you can see, the first two condensation chambers are kept rather small, but have a valve with a screw fitting on the bottom. This was done so we can, at this early point of experimenting, mount different sizes of expansion chambers or cooling solutions there until we achieve the desired result. For starters, in the first test runs, a one and a half inch diameter copper pipe was chosen as extension for the condensation chambers. The first one is about 15 centimeters in length. The second one is about 30 centimeters in length. It remains to be seen if this will be enough or if the condensation chambers need to be made even bigger. Having it all puzzled together, it looks something like this. Here you can see the cooling stage, the condensation chamber expansions, flexible hose connected for the water cooling, seal we use between the reactor vessel and the cooling stage, and a simple thermometer. Let's go through the test reactor step by step. First key point is the sealing between the reactor vessel and the cooling stage. To make sure this connection seals really properly and prevents any sort of leaking. The first expansion chamber with the 15 cm copper tube is where we want to collect the crude oil. The second condensation chamber with the 30 cm copper pipe is where we want to collect the diesel. And finally, we have the third condensation stage, that one is water-cooled. Here, we want to collect the gasoline. I'm sorry for everybody suffering through this horrible audio quality. My microphone broke and the new one has not arrived yet. I promise the next video will be having a much better audio quality again. There's four tasks for this experimental reactor. The first one is to figure a ceiling that holds properly during the process. The second one is sizing the condensation chambers to figure the exact temperature ranges to separate the diesel, fuel, and gasoline. Third, a reliable way to safely dispose of the remaining flammable gases. And last but not least, check the fuel quality of the produced product. Subscribe and hit the bell if you want to be kept up to date. Looking to get a small water pump to get this whole thing going in the next days. Posting the videos for you guys soon. Enjoy your day and make it count.